the National Minimum Drinking Age Act of 1984. It was passed July 17. It punished every state that allowed persons below 21 years to purchase and publicly possess alcoholic beverages by reducing its annual federal highway apportionment by 10%. The U.S. is one of only four nations worldwide with drinking age as high as 21. Well, the U.S. is one of only four countries in the world with a drinking age as high as 21. The other three are Indonesia, Mongolia, and Palau. The legal age 21 is an abridgment of the age of majority. Once an American citizen reaches the age of 18, they are considered to be in the age of majority. At the age of 18, U.S. citizens are able to serve in the military, Mary. Enter into bending contracts. Own businesses. Serving a judgment on a jury. The president of Middlebury College, John McArdle, introduces us with his nonprofit organization called Choose Responsibility. Choose Responsibility was founded in December of 2006, and our purpose is principally to engage the public in informed and dispassionate discussion about the effects of the 21 year old drinking age. Choose Responsibility is a nonprofit organization in the United States that promotes public awareness of the dangers of excessive and reckless alcohol consumption by young adults. The main goal is to lower the minimal legal drinking age by educating the public. In continuation, Dr. John McArdle was present in the drinking age debate on CBS News, explaining in more detail how the minimal legal drinking age of 21 is not working even though it has been enforced. College presidents do a remarkable job in enforcing the law. The irony is that the more successful they are in enforcing it, the more they drive the behavior beyond their sight mm -hmm. uh, and beyond their authority, and binge drinking occurs. We also need to keep in mind that alcohol-related traffic fatalities reached a 10-year high in 2006. They've been going up in the last 10 years. We also need to keep in mind that peer-reviewed research shows that more than 1,000 lives of 18 to 24-year-olds are lost each year off the highways to alcohol. Mm -hmm. uh, the evidence is not all on one side of this debate, and we need to consider all of those data and consider whether 21 is in fact serving us well. Yeah. A 2009 study published in the Journal of Studies on Alcohol and Drugs found that between 1998 and 2005, the number of cases of alcohol poisoning deaths among 18 to 24 year olds nearly tripled, jumping from 779 cases to 2,290. The study also tracks a rise in fatalities from hypothermia and falls. Some report link excess drinking to sexual assault. Alcohol consumption is not about prohibition, it's about education.
Exclusion of alcohol is not the answer. Let people at the age of 18 be treated as the adults who the law, in every other aspect, claims they are. Mm-hmm.